Welcome back, all you wonderful people. We're here for part 14. Like I said in the last episode, we're resuming this previous quest where we're trying to collect four pieces of armor that were previously kind of forced onto the people of Tsushima. The master responsible for crafting this originally had crafted this uh, for Khan. Our goal is to get it back. Uh, we knocked out the first two pieces in the previous episode, if you guys want to go back and watch that. Kind of the different things you got to do with the banners, different side objectives, rescuing hostages. Uh, this one is pretty similar to the first one that we did, um, where it looks like we need to be, re at least remaining initially, relatively stealthy. We're going to have to collect some Sashimono banners. Man, I'm just going to, man, insult. Jumped on his dinner and then took him out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to clear these guys out real fast. Grab this banner, and then... This is a larger camp, I believe, so we might have to cut some of them just to kind of make it easier for you guys and make this a little bit more digestible. Uh, but we'll see as this goes on and kind of get a vibe for the pace and the size of everything here. Okay, so as you can see, we actually made a cut relatively quickly there. The map is pretty, or not map, the, the size and scale of this camp is pretty large. It's built in the side of this mountain here. I put myself up similar to last time in pretty uh, precarious position here. Not the best spot, at least in terms of remaining undetected. We're going to try to do our best here. Collect some banners. All I did was work a little farther into the camp. You guys didn't miss anything. I didn't, no action. I didn't collect anything. So don't worry about that. It looks like we do have a leader potentially right here. So we're going to just do this to boost our ghost meter. And then honestly, yeah, we've been seen. So we'll see what we can do. We'll roll around here. Uh, all right. Well, while we got a moment of reprieve here, like I was saying, uh, the goal similar to the last one is we do have to collect the Sashimono banners. And then we are also going to need to release these Falcons, as you can see. Oh, I messed up. All right. Let's get it popping. This is a massive camp, so be ready to bear with me. This might be a lot of slashing. I feel like when he lost his footing there, he should have just fell off. You know, stumbled into the tumble. Oh. I'm like in a terrible spot here. I'm trying to like navigate away from this. We're like stuck in a small like opening downhill fighting uphill. Try to clear some of this out real fast. Shit, I kind of forced myself back in the same hole here. That was a weird straight up look. Like it's not bad initially, and then once they all just try to surround you here in this small space, you're like forced out again. Ah! No! Yo! Surprise! Alright, the biggest thing here, which is what I'm failing to do, when you are getting surrounded by large horse and goose ways, at least in my opinion, the best thing is always take out the archers as soon as you can if you can kind of isolate them. Those are going to be the guys that make it. That kind of moving around and uh, deciphering who is your best target a lot harder because they're going to kind of fire off at random. And sometimes they do put off that Tosha, Tosha sound they put off to put off a warning. But if they're a little bit farther out, I've noticed that kind of like the sound registration won't pick it up and you won't hear that. And 
they will still just hit you with arrows. Uh, so that's always priority number one. Priority number two is try your best to avoid hack and slashing. Well, let me preface that by saying priority number two should be get into open space where you can comfortably move around if need be and not get boxed in. So this looks like one of our best spots. Second, or sorry, third is again, try to avoid hack and slash. It's really easy as you can notice, and I fall victim to this a lot too, to just rip off a massive combo and just keep swinging and swinging and swinging and swinging and swinging until the dude eventually guard breaks and you take him out. That's not really how this game was ever intended to be played. It is really easy to work around that, but the way that you should do this is slowly work these guys down, take advantage of perfect parries, switch into the appropriate stances like it's telling me to do here and just chip them away, piece by piece by piece. And as you slowly start to work that away, then it kind of becomes a little bit easier. You're not getting overwhelmed by 30 Mongols at one time. And as you can see, they start to actually kind of slow down themselves, and they almost kind of take individual turns going after you. So working smarter, not harder, makes it uh, a lot easier for you here in the end. Really need to get on these perfect parries. So like right here, I fell victim to it. I wanted to just keep the combo going even though I'm not supposed to. And that's also taking account, he's a leader, so I have to realize simple kind of guard break mechanics aren't gonna work the same on these guys. Clean the blade always, we don't want a rusty blade. Okay, we did the side objective, which was to uh, guard break, or kill someone by guard breaking. We need to release three more falcons, or all of them, and then also need to recover the four banners. So like you can see, we got our first falcon right over here. We're going to grab him. You're free, my friend. Okay, second one here. You're literally just going to go right up that ladder, and we're going to work back up a little bit higher, and you're going to do the same exact thing. There's going to be a falcon right up here on the side. I did cut that again there. Again, just trying to get this all collected for you guys. Third Falcon's right here. That one, when you come up to this third one, if there is still guys left to run, you'll be, you can have the option to do a standoff. I did. The only problem is when I did the standoff, it kind of put me like three levels above that original location. So kind of added like two minutes of filler time that you guys could probably care less to see. Uh, all you're going to need to do though is then jump down. We got our third of our fourth banner here. Sorry about that, I'll cut again. Uh, but your fourth banner is just up. Come right up here, and there you go. All right, we need to take out the cash, and then maybe we'll find another general. Again, I apologize for all the cuts in these last two episodes, guys. Kind of going off of pace of how we normally like to structure these episodes. I've tried to keep more main content, but I figured this is gonna be a little bit easier to digest, and be easier to keep up pace. I don't want to drag you guys along for a bunch of filler here and just me navigating through different camps when it's just me kind of finding my way. Same thing as in our last episode. The goal is here with the general, just like all of our other fights. I'll try to, as I'm going, try to break down their main combos and the ways they go about their fights and try to navigate through uh, your best strategy here. But first, really slow, dramatic, got the nut pool. Let's take our time, hold on. And we're ready. Ooh, I was not ready for that one at all. All right, General Bartu looks like, gen just like Dogfin, it looks like he's a, uh, Kind of got this over the top action on us. And because of it, probably the easiest guard break in the game is with uh, like the moon stance for the shield. Sorry, at this point, going to different stance is just muscle memory. I don't really read what I'm doing here in the corner anymore. So if it's not moon stance, I apologize. Alright, like we mentioned in the last one, the goal is we want to get better at perfect parries. That makes these uh, look duels a lot faster paced for you. If you're not really good at the parry, I'd recommend taking the time here to actually work on it because there's less of a penalty and punishment for 
less perfect player, I guess you would say. Sorry for a lack of words there. Uh, but you're not going to have somebody stabbing you in the back. So if you do pull up a parry, but it's not perfect, you obviously don't get hurt. But then it gives you a second opportunity to try again, and again, and again. You see here, the more, more repetition, the more comfortable you get. It just becomes second nature here. Your muscle memory becomes a lot easier. Last episodes, I've been really comfortable with not taking the time to perfect parry. Uh, but as you can see here, we've done it. I mean, four or five straight there. All right. Again. You don't gotta worry about clearing the camps. Beat the general, we get the armor, scares the rest of the dudes off, they don't know what to do with themselves, and they leave. That's gonna be the third or fourth armor. Uh, same thing, it's gonna be a little bit of hike. I'll go ahead and I'll cut this, I'll meet you guys in the fourth location, and we'll wrap up this armor set. And we're back. All right, we got a nice little descent here, down into the valley. It looks like they have a little bit of a Guard patrol work on the main road into the camp, but there's a lot of flower and grass beds to work through. So I don't think we're going to have any issues working our way in. I'd imagine our bonus goal is going to be similar to the last one, something stealthy related. We'll see how it goes. They're over here holding on to all the sake output. Okay, so yeah. Oh, nice. We don't have a silent one. We just got to kill with the half bow. <laughs> this is music to my ears. You guys know I love the bow. All right. We just got to rescue four hostages. This bow thing is super easy. This probably is the easiest camp, I guess. It doesn't look like too large of a camp either. So, hopefully we can work through this pretty quick. We'll go back to our armor friend here, uh, back at Jogaku. And you guys can see this armor if you haven't already. If I believe correctly, it's going to look pretty similar to what these guys are wearing, honestly. Again, yeah, the armor's cool, but as a samurai, it just doesn't make any sense. So I'm not a fan. Yeah, I don't normally do that, but... Oh, he's got armor. I'll normally do that, but we gotta get these skills. I don't know how many chance or how many opportunities we're gonna have presented to us since all of these guys are in heavy armor. <laughs> oh, that gets me every time. That kick move is fucking hilarious. I'm forever indebted to you. Find somewhere safe. Be careful. Can't give up. Not yet. That's another one. Are we getting the point in the game where certain characters, if you don't hit them like in the face, it's not going to count as a hit shot or don't need to use a heavy bow? Yeah, you didn't see anything. Jeez. tweaking out here and I can't fire this arrow off. We're just gonna take this guy out and then we're gonna use the dogs to finish off this bonus mission. So much damn it. No! Oh, 
Jeez. Man, man, these dogs. I mean, hats off to you, man. You took like two arrows and two slices with a katana. That's insane. Hold still. Free at last. Go. Be well. Yeah, I don't know who's cutting your hair, man, but that ain't it. <laughs> that is not it, my guy. All right, where are we going? Oh, spoke a little too soon earlier saying this camp wasn't too big, but I'm having a hard time navigating it, clearly. Oh, there's no way you guys aren't gonna see me. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, nice. Only him. This guy has no clue. What's up, man? Imagine just hanging out and getting your Achilles swiped. Ugh. I like how they showed Jin like actually like stepping up on his tippy toes to get up to that brute. A little added edge there, a little bonus. Go and stay safe. All right, we gotta save one more friend. I've been poisoned. Hey now, let's quit screaming. Come on. Oh, you're just gonna show the hostage dying too. That's cool. Wasn't enough to just let me die, huh? Alright, curious if that changes. Well, shit. Alright. We got one more hostage here, but now we have to repeat the bonus mission. Big thing to avoid, obviously. Don't die. We need to kill three enemies without being seen, so... I can see at least three there. We might be able to pull this off. Uh, life gives us lemons. We're going to make some lemonade, damn it. Was much better uh, fall physics there they had in the previous episode or two episodes ago. Pointed out how there's a dude literally just floating over the edge. He's at least kind of draped over it. All right, my only concern here is if I do take out one, oh, I don't have arrows. If I take out one with being seen, but the other one sees, is that gonna ruin this? We're gonna find out. 
Nice. Alright, it counts. <laughs> Ayo. Okay. Let's not make the same mistake as before. Just rolled into his death there. Thank you for saving us, my lord. We were given this piece of armor and asked to protect it. But I think it's much safer in your care. You're right. This was meant for Kotun Khan. I had no idea. You're right, it is safer in my hands. No Mongol will ever wear it. That's every piece of the Mongol armor. Alright guys, uh, I'll travel back to Jogaku and then we will get with our armorer friend and uh, we'll make this armor for you guys. Roll back. Uh, if you haven't finished storylines, you're going to listen to Sensei Ishikawa tell you to come back and need to go find Tomoe. Which that is an option. I've done that pass where I've done all the side content first. I don't think it changes a whole lot at the end there, but we'll look into it. Did you find the armor? The enemy will never wear your master's work, and the Mongols paid for his death. It eases my pain to know his killers won't hurt anyone else. I just wish I could learn from him one last time. You can teach others. You're right. I'll take an apprentice. Make sure my master's technique lives on. Here, let me adjust the fit. Yeah, I appreciate you making that for me, man, but that is not it. 11 skill points. We're going to have to spend these soon, guys. Alright. No, thing's kind of weird. Why would you want to wear his armor? But that's going to wrap this up. Uh, like I mentioned in the previous episode, we're going to resume back to our main story content, going back into part 15. I appreciate you guys coming out and watching another episode uh, and listening to me ramble. Found any enjoyment out of this, please consider leaving a like, and I will see you guys in part 15.